know my vehicles. And these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle. Driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water. Remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos! Following the tracks! Audrey, what's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! Wow! Okay! No, no! Huh? NASA's up here, Marco. Then what just bumped me? <gasps> it's a robot. That's the Mars rover. So that's whose tracks we've been following. So totally not a Martian vehicle with a Martian in it. Nope. There is no life, life on Mars that we know of yet. yet. But people sent the Mars rover here to explore the surface, take readings, and send the information back to Earth. Wow! <gasps> do I hear happy birthday? What do you know? Years ago, the rover landed here on this day. It's rover's birthday. <laughs> we didn't find any life on Mars, but we did find the rover, and that's just as great. Happy birthday, Mars rover! Happy birthday to you! Hello! You have a birthday cake in your toolbox? Yep, there may not be life on Mars, but there are birthdays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Audrey, what's our status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. <laughs> yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? A whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play? I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> you say so. <laughs> uh, hey. Comes there. Polo's a great engineer. What if she can't fix the polo boat? We'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Ooh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> this engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. Ball! <laughs> Yay! Ball! <laughs> oh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, uh, the ball! All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. Ah, come back! Ah, yikes! Leaves everywhere! Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, 
I wish the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the puller boat forward, and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye-Bye Island. It looks like a kind of beetle. What would such a little thing want with such a big ball of poop? You don't think it's gonna eat it? Ew! Ew. Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes, they also get water from the dung. Okay, this time I'm going to say it. Yuck! Where's it going? Yeah, if they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty! They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. Dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move a ball over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow. But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savannah by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. Plus, flies lay eggs and dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's gotta do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poo, would you? Amazing. You know, I'm glad we parked here by a giant pile of poop. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go see if we can find more. Okay. Uh oh. Nash! Okay, got it. That doesn't look right. Huh. Nash! Give them a heads up. Right. Is that Marco? <gasps> right! Uh, Nash! Nash! Let's go this way! <sighs> Ew, that was close! Mole cats! There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look. Babies. Right. They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah. They hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit too. Look, 
They're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Ooh. To keep their babies safe? I think so. And when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. Bonging so much. We thought you could use 